seems to feel better already with just a little bit of lubrication. It's amazing what a little bit of lube can do. You guys all know about that, right? Uh, and then uh, also, uh, I would spray here CRC in between the where the relay meets just to improve contact and if you have problems after that you could take a piece of uh, 2500 say a paper and get in there and polish the, the two knobs up there on the whistle activator so it'll make better contact okay now we'll get our handy paper towel back Spray some CRC on it, and take these old brushes and roll it around in them, in the CRC solution. It will clean them. It may take some effort and time, but the end result should be well worth it. As you'll see, one end is uh, got a little lip to it, and that's where the the spring goes. You can take your spring also at this time and roll that around in your paper towel and get it clean. And that's one done. Now we can take our paper towel, respray it again, take our other brush, roll it around to the top. If you want to be real cool, you can also use the 2500 grit sandpaper again to uh, kind of make a level surface, but make sure you, you go very evenly on a flat surface back and forth because you don't want the the top of that to be uneven. And uh, this is the fun part. Uh, you, we've cleaned the commutator. You know, normally I would uh, clean in here a little more. I probably will uh, later on. You know, I would take CRC and just you know go around these areas and the whole whistle and the frame and give it all a, a good buff you know get the dirt off of it because I know dirt don't hurt but inside electronic components sometimes it it will okay and now here's here's the the hard part if there is one you take the the brushes put the spring end in first okay and much like you know Santa Fe or the, the gang car you would tip the unit over Attempting to line the holes up the best you can, and there, voila, your brushes go back on. If not, you will have a whale of a time trying to put those on the other way. Just a little tip there that I learned from the old man, and boy, did it save me grief. Uh, when I first started, I was flipping those things and trying to get those brushes, and one would go in and one wouldn't. And he laughed so hard when I told him what a problem I was having. And you know, like I said, it does work good on uh, F3 motors, uh, the Section 50 gang car, 
several of the motorized units, uh, the Alcos. It, it's just a, a good tip to have. Like I said, I am by no means an expert in this, but uh, I have been fooling around with it and making making a little side money doing it for around 12 years now. And we will tighten these nuts back up. Preferably next time with a uh, socket. That one seems to be tight enough. Okay. And everything looks to be kosher in there. I will uh, spray it again one more final time just to get anything that, you know, my hands put back on it or something like that. Once again, you see that the bottom part? If you have trouble with your connection, I'm going to show you this real quick. Hang on. Get a piece of uh, automotive wet dry sandpaper and just take it in between there and scrub the things, the two knobs on you know each side, one on the bottom of this and one on the top. And that should clean that mess up, spray it out again. And we're almost ready to put the, the body back on, but there's still a lot of cleaning to do on this train, uh, you know, which necessarily uh, I'm not going to bore you with. Uh, we'll again take our Scotch-Brite, and we could use uh, alcohol for this to save on our 91%, to save on our expensive CRC. And, you know, uh, I want to clean the wheels, uh, clean the, the roller contacts. This was a good, a good one to show you guys on. But like I said, uh, you know, to do this right, it, it takes around an hour. And, you know, I'm already running up on 27 minutes here. But you want to just scrub those. Check out, make sure everything's kosher with your uh, coupler back here. Check for cracks in the whistle. Because often there are cracks and they might have been glued and tattooed and all the games people play with these trains as I'm sure you guys all know a lot of years and a lot of uh, brilliant minds working on them and uh, that's about it when I hit that button over there on the layout this is going to go up, this is going to activate the impeller, the brushes will spin on top of it, creating the, the electromagnetic field, blah, blah, blah. and the impeller down at the bottom will help make the sound, and we will have a woo-woo, and hopefully a nice, clear, beautiful one. Also check your uh, your horseshoe coupler here, and there's also one under underneath of the whistle activator, and it the whistle activator itself can be removed by one screw on the top, and 
you would just pull that off if this was bad or did not function. Uh, like I said, uh, let, let's put a little bit more lube on there because this thing was bone dry. And remember, it goes in the center. Not these two. No way. Do not do that. Okay, and then again underneath the scoop on the bottom of the impeller. You'll see where the center of, of that is. And now the moment of truth. Okay, so we've got everything clean fairly good. Like I said, I'm going to spend more time on it to make sure it's a thorough cleaning. Still got the layout going here from Christmas. As I do have a late birthday, and we usually leave it up. There's the whistle tender. And there's the Loud and proud. Like I said you will take it and run it like this. And for around 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. Let that oil get down in there. And then, of course, you know, re re lubricate it after you do that. Let's see if it works on the remote. On the whistle button. And the pick pickups must still be dirty. Yeah, it's starting to work. These things take, they take a little time to uh, fiddle with and that's why I said I would take more time and, and clean it more thorough, but uh, 32 minutes on cleaning the tender. Go mm -hmm. from eBay mm -hmm. to home. Uh, once I wash my my shell, I will put it back on, install the two screws, and we should be traveling down the main line, uh, annoying all the neighbors tonight. With the smoke and the whistle. I love Lionel Trains. This is Kenny Ballman. Thank you for uh, listening to this. I'm going to try to do more uh, maintenance videos and become less long-winded at them. Uh, like I said, this does take around an hour from taking it out of the box to really doing it correct. Uh, I tried to sh shorten that down to a half hour, but you want to take your time, do a good job, and, uh, you know, this will ensure that your your, uh, your whistle will blow every time that uh, you hit that button over there. Uh, once again, I'm Kenny Bauman for, from Lionel for Less. Thanks for watching, and happy railroading, everyone.